Hi, this is Joe, and I'm going to walk you through a demo here uh, that I wrote a tech tip, tip on uh, editing the session table. So I call this one iRule Table Control. The iRule itself uh, builds a full-blown GUI application for managing that. So let's look at the iRule here. The iRule starts by defining an app name called subtables in this case. We will uh, create a few variables depending on what the requests that came in and if the first part of the URI is the application name then this whole iRule is processed otherwise it's ignored and uh, you can pass it through so this way you can put it on a production virtual and it will ignore it for anything that's not going to slash subtables or whatever you change this variable to. Uh, down below the main uh, main section of code follows a where we're doing a switch over the command the second thing after the application name in there and if it's edit we do some edit calls to either add a form onto the table to request a name or actually an edit a table that lets you edit delete and add records um, to the uh, session table export will do the same thing prompt you for a name if you don't supply it otherwise it will export and save it to a CSV file do that with the HTTP respond specifying the content type of text CSV and returning the content disposition with a file name with a unique value based off of the date and timestamp and the table name itself uh, import does the opposite it allows you to specify a file you've edited locally and upload it um, let's see what else uh, it looks for the content length header here and if it finds one does a collect on the content length and then it uh, that would trigger the HP request data where all the logic is for uh, parsing that. I've, I've talked about that in my tech tips and you can see it in the uh, code share entry. Uh, and the last last com public command is delete which allows you to delete a subtable. So I'll show you, walk you through how it works. When you first log in and go to the virtual slash subtables, you'll see the main edit form. I'm on the edit command, which is the default. So I can go into this users table, which is already defined, and see the records in there. Let's say we want to add Jason as key number five. We'll add him. Now he's in the table. Um, I can go again and type users here, and you'll see Jason's now in there. Let's say we don't want uh, Jeff on the team anymore. We'll X him out, and he is no longer a user. So it's out of the session table and he's gone. So that's as easy as adding and removing values in and out of the table. Export is another way. Um, well, here I'll show you how to create a new value. If you want to create a new table called, um, um, let's call it uh, um, demo. We'll call it a demo table. You'll see that the table demo is empty. There's no value. So go on, add Joe in there. Let's add another value to is cool. Right. Now we have two values in the demo table. We'll export that and save it to disk. Okay. Scan for viruses. Good. There's no viruses. Let's go ahead and add it, edit that file. Show you the import features. So the demo. Let's add one more column to the demo table. Three rocks. And then we will go ahead and close these. And let's do an import. And we will specify that demo table that was downloaded. We'll click import and the records were added. Let's go and let's look at the demo table again and you'll see Joe is cool and rocks. So we've got uh, um, those three entries. I noticed it said two so it looks like I'm going to need to fix the logic in there. But uh, all th you can see all three were added. If I want to change um, is cool to something else I can say to modify the key of two and say um, right on and then click add that'll actually update the value in the table and not not add a new one since the key is respecified so we've done edit export import last thing to do is delete let's say the table demo table I don't want delete see ya it's gone so now if I go demo again the demo table is not there so that's the iRule. Uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, shows you illustrates from within the iRule all by itself, building a, a GUI application that allows you to add and remove entries to the session table.